Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we are going to quoting strings with single quotes. Okay, so this is actually really useful. Uh, okay, so basic JavaScript quoting strings with single strings. Uh, single values in JavaScript may be written with single or double quotes as long as you start and end with the same type of quote. Unlike some other programming language, single and double quotes work the same in JavaScript. So here they have a string that's laid out with a double quote. So it goes, the variable name is equal to double quotes. And then it says, this is a string on the inside. And then there's a single quoted string, which is equal to a, 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 a string with using single quotes rather than double quotes. Uh, those are the two examples that are provided there. Each of them f are followed by a uh, semicolon. The reason why you might want to use one type of quote over the other is you want to use both in a string. This might happen if you want to save the conversation in a string and have the conversation in quotes. Another use for it would be saving the A tag or the anchor tag with various attributes in quotes all within a string. And then they give you an example of a conversation in which they use single quotes on the outside and then it says, Finn explains to Jake, algebraic, uh, which is the word that he uses. And inside of those single quotes, there's a double quotes uh, string element which is preserved because the string is encapsulated with single quotes. So however this becomes a problem if you need to use the outermost quotes within it, remember a string that has the same kind of quote at the beginning and end. Uh, but if, if you have the same quote somewhere in the middle, the string will stop early and throw an error. And so they give us some examples of using the uh, backslash to uh, ensure that we don't throw an error in this first one, good string, and then the bad string, uh, uh, they have an example where they do throw an error. Um, in the good string above, you can see both quotes safely, uh, both quotes safely, uh, you can use both quotes safely by using the backslash as an escape character. And then it says, note, backslash should be, should, uh, should not be confused with forward slash. They do different things. Um, Okay, cool. So we, what our mission is here is to change uh, the provided string to a string with single quotes at the beginning, at the end, and the end of the escape characters. So right now, the anchor element tag is the string used uh, uses double quotes everywhere. You need to change the outer quotes to single quotes so that they can uh, remove the escape characters. So if we come up here, we can see that we have a variable. We're declaring a variable called my string, and we're setting it equal to a string. But inside of the string, we have this uh, HTML element that we want to use. Uh, we want to maintain these double quotes. And so to do that, what we're going to do is uh, just get rid of the outer quotes, outer double quotes, and set them to single quotes, as the uh, instructions say. And that should pass the test. Oh, I see. They also want us to remove the backlashes. Why is that? Because now the backslashes are not important because the single quotes maintain the integrity of the string. I hope that makes sense. I bet if we run the test now, it'll work. Okay, cool. So let's do this a bit more. <clears throat> Okay, so let's go into a Okay, so let's go into a little bit more depth of this. Let's say we set a variable equal to uh, James Bond name. Right? And so it's James Bond. Uh, James Bond, uh, let's say quote James Bond passage. Um, and then we can just be like and he responded Shaken, not stirred. And so now, if we were to console log the James Bond passage, this is what would turn out. Now you see, this is a uh, this is a console log. It's clean. It's a cleaned out um, sentence because we're we're logging this thing. Now, if we were to remove the single quotes and make them double quotes here. That'd be fine as long as we make these out exterior ones single quotes, and then we'll still get the same result. 
And so this is like string uh, usage in JavaScript. It's actually very important. Uh, this is something that if you're not really understanding it from that, from this, I would say tr give it a try again or do some console logging of your own strings and try to pass it around. Um, you know, uh, again, as per the last, uh, you know, lesson, we could add double quotes to the outside of here and then throw in the... Uh, the backslashes to exit out of the uh, those and then we would still get this as well so these are all just different ways to do this and when you're working on big applications sometimes you'll just uh, exchange them you just want to be able to be familiar uh, with this language uh, what happens if we run the tests now oh you should have only two single quotes so they don't like this so we're gonna get rid of all that um, stuff the reason that I put that in there was just to try to give you a greater understanding of what this was about and so if we run the tests they should pass Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next lesson.